So beautiful there's so many cool little buildings and different colored places yeah. and it's just like a fairy tale city that's what it reminds <laughs> me of yeah that's definitely what I think it's like, like a fairy tale medieval kind of looking place and you can kind of see like the the snow right on top it's really cute definitely like a fairy tale it's so it's so nice here and it's really quiet um, it's just nice and yeah. peaceful you know, it's easy to walk around and it is freezing though. It is <laughs> it's so freezing. cold. Oh I my god, like, my hands are freezing. I've got thermals, shirt, two jumpers on, jacket, scarf, yeah. and beanie and long pants and twenty boots. layers. Yeah, I've got so many layers on. <laughs> yeah, I've got quite a few layers on as well, but like I'm still feeling the cold really badly right now. It's just think, really icy. I think it's out my face that's feeling it because yeah. it's the only part of me that's exposed. Yeah, mine is too. But uh, it's totally worth it. There's no crowds. It's amazing. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, true. And it does look like a fairy tale with the snow on the roofs. It's really cute. This place will be so much cooler at Christmas time with like Christmas markets and selling hot Christmas food. Like, yeah, definitely. So I think now we're going to go get maybe a hot chocolate. There's a place that we saw that does a hot strawberry chocolate. A hot smoothie. strawberry chocolate. Hot strawberry, hot strawberry smoothie. smoothie. And I'm like, I want to try that. <laughs> So we might go back there now and uh, get that and warm our hands up. We just woke up this morning. This is our window. And it's snowing outside. It looks so pretty. I just kind of woke up to go to the toilet like quite early and then was walking down the stairs and I was like, whoa, that did not look like that yesterday. And it's crazy. Look how much snow there's been overnight. Good morning, everyone. So uh, we've just walked outside and today is a completely different feel to Ljubljana. It is snowing and it is much colder than it was yesterday. It's so cool. Can you believe it snowed overnight? No, not this much. This is awesome. everyone we are now in Vienna Austria Yay! after a six-hour train oh ride from Ljubljana it was the, the train ride that never ended <laughs> it was the longest train ride ever it just seemed to go on forever but we have arrived here in Vienna and it is about I think it's about minus two degrees however it's meant it <laughs> feels feel like, like minus seven so uh it's got a bit of an icy frost frosty wind to it um definitely i'm but, pretty sure like parts of the river are frozen you can see parts of the ice kind of like <laughs> slowly making their way down <laughs> we'll, we'll, show, we'll stop to show you um but yeah we're only here for one night we're actually going to munich tomorrow for one night as well so it's kind of a stopover point um so we're probably not going to be able to do much but yeah, yeah it looks a like a, a really cool city and um yeah 
think that um, we will probably have to come back here at some stage. Definitely. So because we arrived here in Vienna really late, we ended up just going out and getting some dinner. It's probably about 12 a.m. now. Uh, so we ended up just doing some bad, going to get Maccas because we're just so hungry. We want a schnitzel. We want schnitzel, but it's so late that nothing's really open other than 24-hour restaurants like Maccas. So easy, cheap, nasty food tonight for dinner, but that's okay. We'll have to just get up early and uh, maybe have a schnitzel for lunch tomorrow. So we will leave it here, guys, and we will see you tomorrow. We are in Vienna still. We're just, we've just checked out of our hotel and we're just going to go to a cafe to use the Wi-Fi. And uh, yeah, just chill out there for a couple of hours. Um, not even a couple of hours, to be honest. We don't really have much time in Vienna. It was more just a stopover point to get to Munich. So we're not really doing anything in Vienna, which is a bit of a shame. But um, yeah, we're just gonna chill out for a couple of hours, maybe edit some videos and some photos and then uh, get on the train towards Munich. Good evening, everyone. We are now in Munich, Germany. So today we left Vienna, got the train from Vienna to Munich, and we did make a quick stop at Salzburg, had a quick look around, probably there for about an hour, and then we came to Munich, and here we are. We're staying at the Novotel Munich City, and um, yeah, this is probably probably one of the best rooms we've stayed in for a few weeks. It is a four-star hotel, so I'll quickly do a room tour for you. Mind the mess, we have kind of sprawled everything out and we've been editing some videos and stuff on our on our computer. So um, yeah, that's why the room's a little bit messy. Hello. There's Kaylee on the big bed, editing photos and things. <coughs> we have a big television over here. Unfortunately, there was nothing on that was worth watching. There was Spongebob in German, but we didn't really understand what was going on. It was actually, it was, it was pretty amazing. <laughs> Even the theme song's in German. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the hotel kindly gave us some complimentary fruit, which is awesome. We haven't really been eating much fruit or veg lately. And uh, we have a big window over here. Keeps going over there. And it just looks over to another hotel over there and a car park. So not the greatest view, but I mean, who can complain? We have a view, so, and a big window. We have our bathroom over here. Bath, sink, a side sink. Kaylee was really excited about it being a side sink, weren't you? Well, I've never seen one before. It's just, it's a very interesting invention. <laughs> And we have our shower. Round to the front. I don't know where the light is. There it is. Have our mi we have our mini bar. And we have a separate toilet. Very small toilet. But that's okay. So we're actually only here in Munich for one night. So, uh, not a lot of time here, just like Vienna. We didn't really have much time to see Vienna. To be honest, this morning, we just went to a cafe, had a coffee and some breakfast, and then caught the train to Munich via Salzburg. And we're going to be doing the same thing tomorrow, so we're probably going to maybe walk around Munich for an hour or two, maybe have some breakfast or lunch, and then we're going to catch the train to Prague. So, um, yeah, the last couple of days, unfortunately, we haven't had a lot of time in the places. They've mostly been stopovers, so we've been kind of pack unpacking our luggage for one night and then packing it up again and then going and then doing the same thing. So we have been quite tired lately, to be honest, because we haven't, haven't uh, been able to rest as much. We've been doing a lot of traveling, so it's starting to really catch up with us at the moment. Uh, but tomorrow when we get to Prague, we're going to have two nights there. So really looking forward to having enough time to actually do some stuff. I feel like um, we we kind of miss the opportunity to really explore Vienna and Munich, which is a bit of a shame. 
um, I guess that you know that was on our part we, we made maybe gave us too little time to be in these places think overestimating how big underestimating how big these places are and that there is a lot of stuff to do here so next time we will probably spend more time in these places and um, yeah get to feel the city and do more next time so we're going to end it here. We will see you guys tomorrow sometime um, and when we're heading to Prague. So really excited for Prague. This is a bucket list item for both of us and it's a city that neither of us have been to. So don't really know what to expect. So really looking forward to it. Anyway, we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.